This Focus on Health segment is brought to you by Aurora Healthcare. Hello, I'm Jill Wunro and welcome to another Focus on Health segment. This is the mammography department at Aurora Medical Center in Oshkosh, where a high-tech digital breast mammography machine is now available for women. Aurora Medical Center in Oshkosh added digital mammography capability to its imaging services in 2008. Now, this service is one of many to help the Aurora Medical Center's Breast Center receive national accreditation for breast excellence. Radiologist Sean Wong and mammography lead Cindy Endress join me here in the mammography department at Aurora Medical Center to discuss the latest technologies and the benefits they have for women. Thank you so much for both coming out and uh, spending some time with us here today. And Dr. Wong, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit about yourself and what your role is here at Aurora Medical Center in the mammography department. Uh, I'm a radiologist with a special training in uh, breast imaging. Uh, my main job here is to uh, interpret uh, screening mammogram and interpret uh, breast MR scan and interpret breast ultrasound study and to perform a, a breast biopsy. And there's a new way to um, detect breast cancer here at Aurora. Talk to me a little bit about uh, the digital mammography and what that all entails. Uh, Digital mammography is a new technique we just introduced a uh, little over one year ago. Uh, compared with the analog machine, the digital machine has uh, better contrast resolution. So I'm assuming obviously with the better contrast resolution you can detect things maybe that you probably wouldn't have been able to in the past, correct? That's true, especially for the patients with a dense breast. Explain to me why is the accreditation important to radiologists here at Aurora? Uh, the accreditation means we comply with their very high standard and there's only uh, four credit uh, facility in state of Wisconsin so we are one of them. So Aurora Medical Center here in Oshkosh one of four hospitals in the state to get this accreditation very very impressive thank you so much for coming out now we're gonna move over to Cindy thank you for coming out here again oh, you're welcome. and talk to me Dr. Wong had mentioned a little bit about dense breasts in women and how does someone know that they have dense breasts can you explain a little bit about that sure um, a dense breast you won't know that you have dense breasts you know someone would think they do but you you really can't tell you can't tell by the size of the breast you can't tell by um, how they feel on self-exam, the only way you can tell is from a mammogram. So your radiologist would dictate in the report what type of breast you have and so asking your provider that information would be the only way to know what type you particularly have. And is that one of the instances, kind of leading into my next question, why some patients get called back for additional views or why would they get called back for additional views? Um, Sometimes that's the reason. Sometimes um, we see things that we weren't seeing the year before when we used film. Now with the digital technology, we see such things when they're so small and, and early that um, you know in the room we, we take the pictures and then we, we check them for quality and make sure we've taken good pictures. Mm -hmm. But then the radiologist looks at the images and if there's a change in the woman's mammogram from what was their normal. Everyone has a normal, and everyone's normal is different. You can't compare some other woman your same age or that's had the same number of children, where you're at in your life cycle, then none of that matters. Every woman is going to be different. So you have to take um, your previous normal and go from there and see if there's any changes. So, you know, some people think we've, we've taken the pictures wrong. It's not that. It's that there's a change in the way your mammogram looks. So then we would call you back and take some more pictures, possibly an ultrasound, clear the area up, or if it does continue to persist to look like something new, then they may go off to biopsy. We talked a little bit about the accreditation that Aurora Medical Center has received, one of four in the state of Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and which is very impressive. And what does the mammography department specifically offer that no one else does? Um, well, here at Aurora, we have many things that draw people here. We have, of course, the spa-like robes. Everyone talks about our robes. We use the mammo pad, which makes the whole experience softer. It uh, attaches to the machine. It's warm. It's comfortable. It, it helps the compression not feel so tight. Mm -hmm. And um, 
and like I was saying, if you do find something on the mammogram that does need to go to ultrasound with the center of excellence, we have those steps that take you further. We have the ultrasound available. We have, you know, some instances where we end up doing the biopsies on the same day. We have um, MRI capabilities to go on. And then we have the surgeon right here, and he sees people within usually, you know, two days or so after a diagnosis of a, of a cancer. Right. You know, we have, we have all the resources right here. And then after diagnosis, we have, you know, the accreditation means we have every step of the way covered. We can take care of each person from start to finish. Just like a spa. That's my that's my main thing is the, the spa thing. I like that whole feeling at home atmosphere and just feeling comfortable. And one last thing I wanted to ask you is I know that it's so important to have early detection of breast cancer and things like that. What is the age that women should come in for mammographies? Does it matter how, how young? I mean, obviously, being realistic, does it matter the age, young, how? Um, well, that's... Another thing we struggle with, most insurances decide how that happens, but the recommendation is at age 40, everyone should have one every year from there on out. If you have a mother or a sister, you would want to start at least 10 years before she was diagnosed. So if your mother was diagnosed at 42, you should maybe start having mammograms at 32. Wow. But, you know, obviously check with your doctor, see what they say, and... Um, you know, come to Aurora. We've got it all here. Yeah. And um, and and the and the sad thing is, you know, people don't realize that breast cancers, eighty percent, up to eighty to ninety percent of the time, are not um, because of family history. You don't have mm -hmm. a relative, so you know, someone's first. Yeah. You know, you know. Granted, you don't want to be that first one, but but we have um, we have all the steps covered. I know we've had patients that say, you know, you find these cancers. How do you how do you all stay so positive? We say, you know, it's because we're doing good things. We know that we're catching it early. We're getting you the, the treatments that are necessary, and we're 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 not dying from breast cancer today. Right. We we're saving lives, and we're doing great things here at Aurora. As we mentioned, Oshkosh is one of the few areas to get this new detection equipment, and it will definitely save lives. If you would like more information about digital mammography or breast cancer, please call Aurora Medical Center at 920-456-6000. Thanks for joining us for this week's Focus on Health segment. I'm Jill Wunro. Have a great day. This Focus on Health segment has been brought to you by Aurora Healthcare.